Good morning, Tamina Khan is here in TK Maths is Fun. In today's video, we will see a topic categorical, numerical, and group data, which is a part of the syllabus of O level mathematics. What is covered under this, this topic, we will see in a while. So before that, you can see on my website address, I have put down all the topics which are covered in the syllabus and the links of the videos are attached here. So it's just a click away for your revision. Similarly, on my blog site address, both this website and blog address, uh, the link I have attached in the description below. So I have put down the name of the topics here and then the videos I have made for those topics so far are attached here. So these are good resources for your uh, revision or recap. So let's see what is the syllabus requirement for the topic categorical, numerical and group data. There are five basic topics. I'm not going to read in detail. We are going to cover only these aspects which I have highlighted in this video. So we will talk about mean, median and more for discrete data and also for the group data, which is written in the frequency table form. So I've taken three examples or three past paper questions to explain this concept. So here is um, the temperature of five days given to you. We have to calculate median and mean temperature. Part C, I will say later. So for median, you know, we have to arrange the data in the ascending or descending order and then pick up the central data. And for mean, we have to add up all the data and divide it by number of data. So here we have one, two, three, four, five. So when we'll calculate mean, we will add up and divide it by five. So let's do median first. We need to arrange it in the ascending order or descending. I have arranged the ascending order. So central data is at the third place, which is minus one. So, sorry, this is the mistake here. So my median is minus one, right? For the mean, I have added up all the data. For addition order, doesn't matter, whatever order you like to add up, and then divide it by five. But be careful about plus minus sign. This is the mistake which is made here, right? So you will calculate your uh, mean here, which is 1 upon 5, which is 0 0.2, if you want to write it in decimal. So sum of the five data, five temperatures of the day which are given to you is equals to 1, because of plus minus, it cancel out. Now this last, I mean C part is saying, there was another day, sixth day, and you have to calculate its temperature, that day, what was the temperature? The thing given to you here is that the mean of six days is equal to 1.5. Now we know that mean is always equal to sum of the data divided by number of data. So mean temperature of six days is equal to sum of six days temperature divided by six. Now sum of five days temperature we have here, it was one. Six day temperature we don't know. So I'm writing one plus x and divided by six because I have to calculate mean. And that was given to me in the question 1.5. So it helps me to form the equation. And you solve the equation and you get the temperature on the sixth day. The next question is more or less same type, but it is given in the context of measurement of what level, right? So this reading is given to here of how many days, let's see. Um, for certain period, they have not talked about days or whatever. So reading is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven readings are given here. So what we have to do, we have to find the difference between highest and lowest. Now the same question can be asked, what is the range of the readings? Range also means you have to find the difference between the highest and lowest. So in this case, what is the highest? What do you see the highest? There are two datas which are positive. So highest is 0 0.3 and lowest is minus 2.3. We know on the number line, the biggest numerical value, but with negative sign is the smallest value. So if you subtract them, you will get your uh, difference between highest and lowest. So which is equals to 2.6. The part B is saying find the median and we have just seen how to find the median. We will rearrange this data in the ascending order and then pick up the central data data. So when I rearrange it in the ascending order, there are seven data. So middle data will be at the fourth place. 
So my median is minus 0 0.5. And to calculate the mean we have just seen in the previous part that we have to add up the data and then divide it by total number of data. So my mean is minus 0 0.8 in this case, right? And this question, which is different, it is given in the frequency table form, right? It is covering another aspect, which is talking about group data. So now you need to recall how to calculate median, mean, and model number. Now model is the most easy one. Why? Because in model, you see the highest frequency. So this is your frequency and this is your data. It means how many children in each house. So, seven houses were such that they have only one child. So, your model number is one because seven is the highest number of houses, right? So, you see the highest frequency and pick up the data against it. So, your model class is one for median. Now, this is a tricky part. For median, how will you rearrange this data? The meaning of this data is that there are three zeros then there are seven ones like this right and if you start writing all these numbers and then pick up the central data it will be too time consuming because if i add up all these frequency three plus seven plus five plus four plus zero 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 one so it is equal to 20 right so what is the central data if suppose 20 dots are in front of you at what place you will have central data like it's easy i will tell you the technique how to do it after this question but right now because the number is very easy so i can calculate mentally you can calculate mentally so the data present at the 10th place and 11th place will be your will be your median data will be your central data in case of even number of data now pay attention what i'm saying in case of even number of data, there are two central data at the 10th place and at the 11th place. So you will pick up the data present at these places, add them up and divide it by two. So the technique here is you make another line here and this is called cumulative frequency. The first frequency you write down as it is. Now why I'm doing this, I'll tell you. Now three plus seven is 10, 10 plus five is 15, 15 plus 4 is 19, 19 plus 0 is 19, 19 plus 0 is 19, 19 plus 1 is 20. It means up till 3 places you have 0. Then from 4th place till 10th place you have 1. You can see here 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. And then from 11th place to 15th place you have this data. In this way, it becomes very easy to find out what data is at what place. I have to pick up data at 10th place and 11th place. So at 10th place, I have 1. At 11th place, I have 2, right? So for the median, I will do 1 plus 2 divided by 2. So my median is 1.5. I will tell you the technique, the formula here, which is told by teachers to identify the place value. Here, though, I have just used common sense and found, right? Sometimes it is difficult for students, I'll let you know. For the mean number of students in case of frequency table, like here, it is a frequency table. To calculate the mean, what do you do? You use the formula which is called sigma fx over sigma f. Now, what is sigma fx? Sigma means sum. f is the frequency. Now, this is your frequency and this is your data. So, you do... 3 multiplied by 0 plus 7 multiplied by 1 plus 5 multiplied by 2 plus 4 multiplied by 3 and so on. So that will give you sigma fx, which I have done here. You can see I simply multiplied them and added them, each one of them. And sigma f mean add up all these frequencies, right? And then simply divide it. So I got my mean is 1.75. So with this, this question finishes, but I told you that I'll tell you the formula how to calculate the mid value. So here is the technique. See here, data could be of two types, even data and odd data, right? 
So suppose in case of even data, I'm taking 20 data and in case of odd data, 21. You can use any number you like. The formula here is n plus 1 divided by 2. Now this is your n, right? Now you substitute, the formula is same for both by the way. You plug in the data. This will give you the place value, right? Not the number. So 21 divided by 2 is 10.5 here and 11th here. So in case of odd data, whatever the answer will come, at this place, whatever the data is present, that is your data, central data, median. But in case of even, you got 10.5. So you will get the data present at the 10th place and the next integer is 11th. So data present at the 10th and 11th place. So this is how you calculate what is the place value of the median. And in case of even number, these two data you add up and then divide it by 2. And in this case, you use it as it is. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please press like and subscribe and share with your friend. Take care.